Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, George coming to you from Hawaii. And uh, this is my first recording. We're going to be reading a little bit of uh, Terrence McKenna here, one of my favorite philosophers and authors. And uh, just thought I could maybe introduce some new people to some of his words. So without any uh, further interruptions, I guess, let me go ahead and uh, get started here. See what you guys think. All right, so some of my highlighted work I've done here is, these would just be a couple quotes. Liberate yourself from the illusion of culture. Take responsibility for what you think and what you do. I think there is a global commonality of understanding coming into being, and it is not necessarily fostered by institutions. I think institutions will inevitably substitute a rite or a ritual for the authentic, for the real McCoy, because then priests can control the pipeline to God and the parishioner can approach with offerings. But if everybody can have a pipeline to deity, why then the whole priest scam is put out of business? Here's a couple notes on being spiritual. It is the imagination that argues for the divine spark within human beings. It is literally a descent of the world's soul into all of us. History is the siren song of the soul. It puts people who are into this psychedelic thing in an entirely different stance from all other spiritual seekers because all other spiritual seekers are furiously seeking psychedelic people. I'm sorry, furiously seeking. Psychedelic people are holding it back with all their power because they are in the presence of the mystery. And then the trick is to get a spigot on it so that it can be turned on and off rather than coming at you like a tidal wave a mile high, 20 miles wide. You know, Terrence McKinnon was big into psychedelics if you read any of his books or listen to any of his speeches at Esalon. And I think that there's been somewhat of a resurgence into the psychedelic movement. One of the most empowering things I heard Terrence McKenna talk about was that, you know, the use of psychedelics is like going out onto the oceans of chaos and dropping down your nets you know hopefully your sail doesn't get blown out by the massive winds or the monsters or you know whatever it is out there that's can be dwelling in the imagination but the trick is to bring something back a lot of people who use psychedelics have a good time or like to explore but the real the real meat the real gold is to try and bring something back. And uh, that's what we're going to be exploring on this channel. And uh, probably amongst a whole lot of other things. So stay tuned for some more. And I uh, hope you liked my very first video. Looking forward to uh, doing more of them. Aloha.